Crazy Snowboard is a game that is available for both Android and iPhone devices. The game uses the accelerometer in the device to create a virtual, realistic snowboarding experience. From the home screen of the game, you have options to play, choose bonus items, and access options. Tapping on play will give you two game modes, free ride, and missions. To help you get comfortable with the game, I will select free ride. There are four maps that come with the phone, original, holidays, Graveyard, and Grind Session. Here I will choose the original track. With this game, you have the option to pair another Android device as a Wi-Fi remote. Tapping this icon will launch the setup menu. Tap Wi-Fi remote and select whether you want to set it as the game screen or remote. Here I'll select game screen. Once this is set, the device will automatically begin searching for the corresponding remote. On the remote device, tap on the same icon as before to open the setup menu. Select start Wi-Fi remote, and this time, select remote mode. Once both devices find each other, Tap connect on both to finalize the connection. Now as you can see, the Wi-Fi remote icon has turned from blue to green. Whether or not you use a remote or simply play the game on one device, these are the controls you will need to know to play the game. There are two main control pads. The right pad controls different grabs and the left pad controls different spins. By default, tapping the number one option on the right pad will make the snowboarder perform a method grab. Tapping the number two option will perform a front grab. The number three option will perform a stale fish grab. and tapping the number 4 option will perform a nose grab. Grabs and different combination of grabs will help you earn more points. On both directional pads, if you press and hold on the center section before a ramp, letting go at the top will cause the snowboarder to jump farther and higher, giving you more time to perform tricks and earn more points. While in the air, tapping the left icon on the left pad the snowboarder will begin to spin towards the left as shown above. The right icon will cause the snowboarder to spin to the right. Holding the down arrow will allow you to do backflips. and holding the top arrow will allow you to do front flips. As shown on the device above, combining turns, flips, and grabs will earn you additional points and multipliers. Now that we have shown you all the controls, let's begin to play the game. Before a run, this info box will appear, showing the run's mode and directions. Tapping the next icon on your remote will start the run. In free ride mode, you will be provided control diagrams. Feel free to read this if you need to reinforce what we just showed you.
To steer, use the accelerometer in the remote to guide the snowboarder through the run. As shown in the upper corner, a Wi-Fi remote is not required to play. Here, using the same device that the game is displayed on, you can steer and control the rider's trick movement all from one device. As you are riding down the hill, you will gain speed by performing tricks and not falling. As stated before, prior to jumping off a ramp, I will press and hold on the center part of either pad and release prior to jumping off the ramp. The closer to the center of the ramp you are, the higher and further you will jump. Every time you land a trick, the point value and multiplier will be displayed along the top right side. You can track the status of your ride in the gray info box in the top left hand corner. If you fall, a tip will appear to help you from falling again. This appears in the same spot the point values and multipliers do when you land a trick. Here it is suggesting that I try not to land on my head. In the free ride mode, you will ride down a continuous mountain with no time limit. To end, you can tap the gray info box in the top left corner, or as shown here, you can tap the pause button on the Wi-Fi remote. Tapping finish will return you to the game's main screen. The other type of game mode available is mission. This free version of the game comes with 30 missions that progressively increase in difficulty. Tap on the unlocked mission to play. For missions, it is important to view this info box to view your task for the run. Press next or start to begin. In this mission, I need to ride through 10 slalom gates. As you can see on the left, you have a time limit to achieve this. Using the accelerometer, Steer your way down the mountain, riding between at least 10 gates within the time limit, and you will pass this task. Earning points along the way will give you a higher star rating. I passed with 3 out of 3 stars, earning a score of 14,082 points. These points can be used to purchase new grabs, riders, and boards. Returning to the app's homepage, selecting bonus items, you can find 3 options of customizable items that you can purchase with the points. First we will take a look through different dudes. Your current points will be displayed as well as the cost of the item. Buying the item will unlock it for use. Scroll through and find the rider you like. The next item you will have the ability to customize are boards. Again, purchasing any of these with points will unlock the board for use. Finally, you can change the type of grabs that your rider has available.
select which grab you would like to customize on the directional pad and tap change. The first four options are the default grabs that the rider comes with. Again, scrolling through, you can view additional grabs and purchase any with points to unlock for use. The game has two settings options. You can enable or disable music and sound effects. If you have paired a Wi-Fi remote with your device, make sure you tap this icon and tap disconnect to unconfigure the connection. You will be asked if you would like to set up a new connection. If not, just tap no thanks.